Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs B, your Catholic art teacher. Boys and girls, today we are going to create some flowers using our watercolour paints and instead of using paint brushes we're going to be using this boys and girls. That's right, cotton swabs. So let's get started. First of all you need your paper and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be, I'm going to dip my swab and, and make a flower, lavender flower. So let's get started with that by getting our paints and we will, um, I'm going to purple, get our purple here. And we're going to go ahead and create a beautiful lavender bush. So we get our swab and we dab it into our purple paint like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to dab it on, make dots. Because the lavender flowers very pretty flowers and we're just going to create lavender or lavender because it's a bush the it's like um it's like a bunch of them together like that and then they taper to the end um so we're going to go ahead and just do that with our cotton swabs. Just gonna do some lovely delicate oh sometimes it pulls so be careful because it pulled on me and created this smudge. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do another one. Going like that. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna continue with that going here one Okay. All right. And we're going to continue this pattern because we're going to sh show like a, a garden of these beautiful flowers. It's, it's almost like a bunch of grapes, isn't it? It looks like. Okay, so we're just going to continue to create this. Oh, the thing about this, it's, um, it's smudging. So we have to try to avoid that by going back and going over those lovely circles and making sure that they are circular and not a smudge like what it's trying to do to, to me right now. It's trying to make it look like a smudge. And then as it's going at the back in the background, you can really turn over your uh, cotton swab and use another end and then you make it you just dab it on like that very slightly to make the smaller ones like that. So that will look like it's in a, the distance, boys and girls. You do it again, just, just go over like that. And you're gonna have one, oops. When you have the, when it's going like that, you just try to take it off. Or you can just roll it back around like that, like what I've done. And then you just do this very carefully because it will have a tendency to want to do its own thing <laughs> and make um, do its own thing and create its own shape. You want it to be circular like that. And then we're going to put one here. We just want to show 
variety of sizes. So the bigger ones are closer to us. The ones further away are smaller. And then you get the medium size ones like what I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to try to create that like that. Okay. Oh, that looks lovely and uh, yeah we're turning it back to the big one and we're going to make one more big one that's really close to us so we're just gonna make circular moon, um, strokes so that it will appear grand and close to us I hope that you can see I'm sorry if it was off screen for a little while but at least you've got the idea okay boys and girls so we're just going to create this beautiful shape and make it really nice and close up And then we'll do this another one just to show what's in the foreground. They're the same, but they're just more tinier. Okay, like that. Now we're going to change our cotton swab to a clean one and we're going to add the greenery. So boys and girls, we've got our clean swab and we've got some green. I just put some green paint and uh, yeah, we're just going to create some stalks for our beautiful purple lavender flower. This is going to be very small like that. Very small, but then the ones closer will be thicker. And we're going to give it and uh, we're just gonna just carry on you can see uh, different dimensions but it's all good boys and girls we're just gonna we're just creating um a lovely background like that boys and girls and then we can go ahead and add that there and then we can have something here going some leaves going here that's fine and leaves on that side that's okay and there it is boys and girls um i'm just gonna add some finishing touches to this but that's basically it what we're gonna do boys and girls so i can't wait to see yours i'm going to add some a dash of um i'm gonna add some white to give this dimension so let's say for example the light is coming in this direction, in the direction where the yellow paint, pot of paint is. So I'm going to add to my purple a white, um, white paint. So I'm going to add some white boys and girls. Got my palette, got my white paint. Just going to add some white now, right here. Okay. And we're just going to add some highlights. Remember what I said? The light's coming that from this direction, from where the yellow 
paint it, um, bottle is and I'm going to go ahead and take the other end of my swab and I'm going to add the white. So we're going to add the white like this. And you know, sometimes boys and girls, it really gives a lovely um, blended kind of color, you know. So um, yeah, I think it's it's good. Made a good, um, I like it like that. So I'm gonna, I can't dip this back into my white, so I'm gonna get some more of a clean swab. So I'm gonna get a clean swab like that. And I'm going to dip it in again so that I can do the other, um, so the one closest to the yellow bottle is what I'm going to be um, adding this kind of a beautiful whitish. So we're going to add white here and there. Okay, we can add it like this to, by just dotting it maybe. Um, it would work too, I think, don't you think? Dot this and see. No, I need to dip it in. So I'm going to go ahead, dip it in like that in my white. And I'm going to add the white like we said. Okay. Okay, I'm quite pleased with um, what I have. I just wanted to add a little bit of um, pink to this because when you add white to the purple, according to what purple you have, it makes a lovely pinkish colour. So I'm just going to go ahead and get some pink and I'm just going to add some pink to this mixture. It's... Um, it just adds a beautiful, um, it just makes it beautiful. The, the, the sh and a variety of shades also adds interest to our piece, our subject. And that's what I'm trying to do. I really want to add some interest. I'm adding some water and adding some pink boys and girls to my swab like that and I'm gonna go in areas that I think may need that little subtle touch of the pink um, like that you know and uh, yeah we, we'll put some down at the bottom as well that that should be okay as well I'm just going ahead and adding some. All right, I quite like this. Um, what I wanted to do, boys and girls, is go back and use a darker green um, just to add um, contrast. So I'm going to get my, a dark green. So I've got some dark green here. And I just want to really basically um, add some contrast to this uh, garden of lavender flowers, basically. Um, I think it would make it uh, be interesting to look at. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And maybe we can have a few here. Yeah, bring it all the way down like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm quite satisfied with that. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm quite happy. Um, maybe I can add a little bit of blue just to make the green even more darker. So did you see how I just added a little bit of blue? 
and uh, yeah it, it made quite the difference boys and girls so I'm just going to add the dark blue and uh, yeah it slipped me adding something exciting to my painting so boys and girls I'm going to go ahead and add the lighter one here that's okay even if it doesn't uh, look too light I can go back up at it again and some of the um The purple has been erased so I'm gonna go back to my nice um, purple I'm gonna go and say give me some of that purple for me to get it back so I'm gonna go back here like that I'm gonna do it again get the purple back I want my purple like that um, though it's not exactly how I wanted it but okay I think that will be okay Just adding some white just to give it a little bit of okay I got some of the greens on top of my purple so I'm just trying to fix it up I think that's great so boys and girls I can't wait to see your lavender uh, um, please share with me and I'll see you in the next video bye bye bye